What's going on YouTube? GS not right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2 with the Electra jailbreak that has just been released by Coolstar just a minute ago. So if you navigate here to the Electra website, there is a new website available and you have two different versions that you can download, which are of course the uh, download for the developer account, which uses the multi-path exploit, which does indeed work faster and it takes less attempts, but of course it needs a developer account, or the VFS exploit version, which does indeed take more tries, but it doesn't require a developer account. So you press and download the one that you need. So of course, after you do that, you're going to have an IPA available in here. And of course you will be able to use the CDA impactor and put it in here on your device. So in order to do that, we just need to download and install CDA impactor available for both Windows, Linux, and Mac OS and you drag and drop the Electra just like you do normally and put it in here. Now you need to log in with your Apple ID and password and you will be good to go. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so after that, the Electra will be installed on our screen. For some reason on my device, it doesn't have an icon, but it does start. So that's a good sign. Let's go to the device and I'm going to show you how to get CDR working on this device. Okay, so here is the uh, device running iOS 11.3 and this one runs the beta and this is the Electra if you open it it looks like this and this is compatible with iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.3.1. Now you can also enable or disable the tweaks if you want. Here are the credits if you're interested in order to see you know who worked on this marvelous jailbreak and you can also set a nonce if you want to and this is the uh, generator you can set and if you don't want to do that if you just want to you know simply jailbreak you press jailbreak and there we go. I'm gonna do that and it's probably going to restart the phone so be right back. Okay, so I'm back. It finally managed to jailbreak my device. Here is Cydia. Something you should keep in mind is that during this jailbreak, especially during the jailbreak using the VFS exploit, you know, the non-developer version, it will reboot your phone a lot. It actually took me 20 different attempts in order to get this going, but finally Cydia works and I am jailbroken on iOS 11.3 and it works of course on iOS 11.3.1, 11.2.x and so on. So great job, the Electra team. Anyways, the problem is not the Electra itself, the problem is the exploit that is not very stable, but that's not something that we can easily change. Anyways, you can see that all the uh, repositories are working and I'm able to install whatever I want to install, so it does work. I'm going to try to install, for example, this one here. So install, all right, you can see it's 25.2. Uh, and we're going to do this and it's going to start installing. Now it does install the tweaks, although it works a little bit slower than the normal Cydia, but as you can see, it does install. So everything seems to be going fine. It's a working jailbreak with Cydia and it works with all 64-bit devices running the iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.3.x. So as you can see, everything went fine. And this is how you jailbreak the iOS 11.x with the new Electra jailbreak. Now, as I said, expect to have a lot of reboots. This is how this jailbreak works. And this is due to the exploit itself, not due to the Electra. Anyways, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.